Hi Jade, Reese from Wayne Phillips Ford here in Christie's Beach. Just shooting a quick video on the Ford Everest trend. You've inquired on, I'll do a walk around, give you a better idea of the condition, the quality, some of the features as well. So we start at the front. It's in the flat white. No damage, one previous owner. It's been absolutely looked after. Now this one is the rear wheel drive model, so it's not all wheel drive or four wheel drive, it's just rear wheel drive. That being said, it does have the same towing capacity, so three and a half tonne and everything all inside all the features everything like that are exactly the same i'll go through the back because it seems like that's something you're really keen on having a look at the the child seat placements etc so you see here it does have the traditional sort of family wagon seven seat setup which is the pop-up seats in the rear so not much you know not a huge amount of boot space once they're up you do have the top tether points so you see there for both of those so assume you've got child seats that will fit etc there is no isofix in the third row, but there is a tether points and they just fold down like that. They will go quite flat once they're all folded down. I'll show you what the size looks like. So you see that's the, the middle row, which does have anchor points and the actual isofix points. If I fold this forwards, so depending how big the kids are, you can fit in here as an adult. But I know you do have a Sorento, so you're probably comparing to that and the Palisade, which I dare say are both actually gonna have a bit more room in the back, being more sort of traditional sort of, oh, I don't wanna say van shaped, <laughs> um, but yeah, more station wagon, where this is more ute wagon, if that makes sense. So all the, the ranges um, are, the, are based on the Everest or vice versa, uh, D-Max, MUX, Triton and Mitsubishi Pajero Sport are all the same sort of setup. But you see, not a huge amount of space. It is enough for obviously a small child and adults for short trips. I just wanna show you that, of course, because we, if we're gonna um, spend some time driving it out to you, etc., obviously I want you to know roughly how big it is. I don't want you to think it's it's massive and then you, you come see it in person and you you think it's uh, not gonna fit the seats, etc. cetera. But you see here, nice leather interior. So only traveled 30,000 kilometers. Like I said, one owner, got the big screen there. That does your reverse camera, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is wireless. And it has a wireless phone charger there as well. Nice camera, nice and clear. That's shooting up at the sky because the tailgate's open. Different drive modes, etc. here. Nice sort of glove box, double glove box as well. This one does have the tow bar and the brake controller fitted as well. So it is, it is ready to tow, like I said, up to three and a half ton. So this one is available now. If you send through some details of the Sorento, if you think Everest is the right direction you're pointing, um, we'll see if we can work out the numbers with the numbers line up as well. And we can, can see what we can do in terms of bringing the car out here. So recent Wayne Phillips Automotive 0490 479 466.